Hey there, this video is going to show you how to replace a bathroom faucet. This is pretty easy if you use the right tools and you follow the directions that come with the faucet. But there are a few tips I want to share with you so that you can do it faster and way quicker than if you just try to follow those directions because sometimes they're not as good as they should be, if that makes any sense. So let's jump into it. I'm going to show you some tools that will help you out and some really great tips. All right, so this video is going to show you how to remove a faucet like this one. It's simply a two-handled faucet, and the first step that you need to take is to turn the shutoff valves off. <laughs> you need to shut the water off. So turn the shutoff valves completely to the right or clockwise. There's a hot shutoff valve and there's a cold shutoff valve. Turn both of them off. Then grab a Tupperware container like this one because we're gonna remove the P-trap. The P-trap's connected to the drain coming down from the sink. And there are two nuts, one, two, that hold the P-trap in place. You simply need to turn them counterclockwise by hand. And when you do that, water's gonna come out of the P-trap. Now, if the nuts don't become loose by hand or you're having trouble with that, you can use a pair of channel locks like these to loosen those two nuts, those two slip nuts. So again, just turn them counterclockwise, turn the nuts counterclockwise, grab your Tupperware container, make sure it's underneath the P-trap because water is gonna come out. And that's normal, it's normal because water's held in the P-trap so that you don't get sewer gas up into your bathroom. And sop up any water with a rag that falls onto the bottom of your vanity because the vanity could bubble up. So again, here's the drain, here's the gooseneck. You just need to know what those are for now. Here's a basin wrench. We're gonna use it to loosen the supply lines and the supply lines on the bottom of the faucet. You're gonna turn it like I'm turning here, turning it here to remove those supply lines. You can also use a socket wrench and a basin buddy attachment. That's what this thing is on the socket wrench to do the same thing. But I really do like the basin wrench. It's, it's a pretty fantastic tool. And then these nuts are what hold the faucet to the sink. You can also use the basin wrench to loosen these nuts in this direction. So I'll show you how to do that next. So slide the basin wrench up onto the nut of the supply line that's connected to the bottom of the faucet. And what you wanna do is turn it clockwise. So like I was doing there. And then you'll, you by hand, you can remove the rest of the, the nut from the bottom of the, of the faucet and let it drain into that same Tupperware container. What you're gonna do next is spray some WD-40 onto the nuts that are on the bottom of the faucet. Those nuts, those white nuts, they hold the faucet to the bottom of the sink. It's the only, only reason why your sink or your faucet's uh, secure. So again, you can use the basin wrench like I did there to just loosen that nut and get it started. Then you can remove it the rest of the way by hand. Even though I used a basin wrench in this video tutorial, I'm gonna be probably switching from that to this rigid 4-in-1 multi-tool. It looks like this, it's pretty awesome, and it's affordable. You can use it for different things in your bathroom, like trying to unscrew a faucet, or even taking the supply lines off the shutoff valves, or, or even trying to unscrew a stubborn shutoff valve that won't turn the right way. So check out this 4-in-1 multi-tool. The next step is to remove the drain. And what you'll have to do is, there's a little clip that holds the strap there, the clevis strap, to the pivot rod. You have to remove that strap, or excuse me, the clip, and then use channel locks to loosen the drain and unscrew it, like I'm doing here. And then you can pull it down from the bottom of the sink. And here's the, the top of the drain. That's what it looks like. It screws down into the drain body like this. That's how it works in this case. It may be different for you. And then clean off any kind of silicone, or this is plumber's putty, clean it off the sink. You need to get that super clean for your new setup, for your new faucet that you're gonna install. 
So I'd clean it with a rag, or I chose to use Clorox disinfecting wipes just because uh, we had them on hand, but you don't have to. You can simply use water. Now you can lift the faucet up from the sink. It's that simple. Yeah, This is what <laughs> it looks like underneath that faucet. So you're gonna have to clean that really well too so that the new faucet will sit on top of the, uh, the sink. I used an SOS pad on the bottom of a standard kitchen sponge. And then measure how far the holes are in the sink. In this case, it's about four inches apart. So this tutorial is gonna show you how to install a bathroom vanity faucet. The one I'm installing here is by Millen Call and it's called the Boardwalk. And I like it because it has the spot resist finish and you get the drain with it too. So it's pretty sweet. Here's the setup. Once you open the box, you can get a little tool to help you actually tighten down the faucet onto the vanity. And the vanity, I mean, excuse me, the faucet comes wrapped. And that's nice because you know it's protected and won't be scratched. And you also get the supply lines, the steel braided supply lines. So make sure that the shutoff valves are turned to the off position. Then use a crescent wrench to turn the nut on the current supply lines counterclockwise and remove both of them from the hot and the cold shutoff valves. And the new supply lines, again, they're, uh, that come with this boardwalk are steel braided, which are the only supply lines you should be using these days. So take the faucet, feed it down through the sink, and center it. Now, in this case, I needed a, a trim piece to cover the two holes and make sure that whatever trim piece you use, you may not have this one, but make sure it comes with a gasket. And if it doesn't, you'll have to use um, silicone caulk to adhere to the sink base. So take that gasket, take that trim piece, put it onto the faucet if your setup looks like mine, and then center, center the faucet that is, so that it's centered on the, the drain itself. And then you're gonna use a little tool like this to tighten it down. And I'll show you how to do that next. But again, make sure that that faucet is centered the best you can on that drain hole. So in this case, the boardwalk came with a little horseshoe retaining nut, a retaining sleeve, and I had to tighten it to the bottom, and that's what we're looking at here, to the bottom of the sink using the tool that Millen provided. So that tool makes it super easy to hand tighten the nut and then what you can do is slide a screwdriver into the, the tool and then ratchet down on it. Again, make sure that faucet is still centered on the drain though. Okay, so the next step is to install the drain. And the drain comes in two pieces. And what you'll do is screw them together like so. But uh, the first thing you need to do is take the rubber gasket off and all the corresponding pieces. And we're going to use plumber's putty. We're going to roll that into a half inch rope, like so, and roll it onto the bottom of the drain. Just mold and shape it onto the bottom of that drain because what the plumber's putty is going to do is prevent any leaks between your drain and your sink. So it's important that you do that, unless your directions call for something different. Then unscrew the nut, take the washer off, take both washers off, both the plastic one and the rubber gasket. Set that aside and then put the, the drain down into your sink. And one thing to note here, once we ratchet down on this and get it super tight, that plumber's putty is gonna ooze out and that's fine. Then take your rubber gasket or washer, whatever you wanna call it, place it up under onto the, the drain. The next part would be that plastic washer, then your plastic nut. You're gonna screw that nut onto the bottom of the drain until it's nice and snug with that rubber gasket slash washer. And then you're gonna ratchet down on it using a pair of channel locks. You want that to be super tight because that's gonna prevent leaks from the sink and the drain, between the sink and the drain. Then screw on the extension tube. Now, with the extension tube, you may have to loosen that nut and then turn the extension tube so that it faces the back of the vanity because that's where your pivot rod needs to go. And then tighten down on that nut again. So as you can see here, the plumber's putty oozed out perfectly fine. That's normal. 
Here's your pop-up stopper. You're going to slide that down into the drain like I'm doing here. And then the next thing is the down rod for that pop-up stopper assembly. You need to make sure that goes down through the faucet itself. And then you're gonna slide the clevis strap. It's just a strap with a bunch of holes in it. You're gonna slide that up onto that rod and then tighten it down by hand first. And then tighten it some more, maybe one half turn using a crescent wrench. Unscrew the nut on the extension tube. Slide that nut over the pivot rod and then slide that pivot rod into both the clevis strap and the extension tube, tube excuse me, and then tighten down on that. There's a little clip that slides onto the pivot rod. You're going to slide the clevis strap on after that clip and then the clip goes back onto that pivot rod and holds the strap in place. Now you're going to a hand tighten your supply lines onto the shutoff valves. Don't over tighten them, maybe one quarter, one half turn with a crescent wrench. And if you have to, and they're too long, you can just loop them like that. Now, for the next step, you're going to have these little nuts and these washers that go on your, on your um, tube, coming from your drain tube. And you want the P trap to go up over that tube by about an inch and a half to maybe two inches if possible. So you're gonna slide the P-trap onto, onto both that drain so the, the, and, the, and the gooseneck coming out of the wall. But make sure the washer and the nut are positioned like so. And then you're gonna push the P-trap up, screw the nut coming from the gooseneck onto the P-trap first, make sure those fittings are flush, and then do the same thing for that extension tube coming from the drain. Make sure they're tight, just hand tighten them. And if that drain is not long enough, you can buy an extension tube for a few bucks. It's usually one and a quarter inch plastic, one and a quarter inch in diameter that is. And you can use a rigid tool like this one here to cut it. I love this rigid tool, it is awesome. And on it, it shows you how to rotate it. But all you do, and what makes it so sweet is you just slide the tube in to the rigid tool and you turn it and it cuts a perfectly square extension tube for your drain. So you can slide that extension tube over the drain extension tube down into your P-trap if need be, if, you're, if your drain isn't long enough. And then the final step is this. Usually all faucets come with stickers with their model number. Take that sticker and put it on your vanity cabinet for reference. So here's what the finished product looks like. It's not a bad project at all. I know you can do this. It's super simple. Well, there you go. That's how you replace a bathroom faucet. I hope that this video helped you out. Remember, if you're using the right tools, it can make all the difference for a project like this. So check out the tools that I recommend. I think it could definitely be the difference between the project taking all day and taking half the time. All right, I hope that you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up over on YouTube. That way somebody else can find it. And if you haven't done so already, I encourage you to subscribe to the Home Repair Tutor YouTube channel because it could help you out immensely. A new video tutorial comes out every single Friday. They're meant to help you out. I love doing this, and that's why I like sharing the projects with you. All right, until next time, have a great day. I gotta wrap this up because I'm hungry and I gotta go downstairs and have a snack. All right, take care.